Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Dreams of red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calva! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. You're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? No, I hear this is the last day. How'd they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? I'm busy. Anyone else to bother? They're ready for us. Get back up here.
Come on, it's time. You're with me. Consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just. Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look for... You were one of the weirdest hires I've ever had. From hacking computers to digging for minerals? You're lucky our turnover rate is so high. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Easy there, High Flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. <coughs> Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait. The explorers group? I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on.
Barrett? Man! Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? That's the Crimson Fleet! Fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. 
Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Thinking it over? And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> We're still in... Hey, uh, I don't know how you kept your cool back there. You going? Staying around isn't helping us out any. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Shields ready. The rest is up to you.
often an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. are often unpredictable.
The Crimson Fleet is a confederation of smaller, independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent.
things out there. center of mass. Hill pain. Detection of enemy has dropped unexpectedly. Begin search protocol. I knew I'd find you. <laughs> Alert. Enemy location discovered.
Hold them off here while Brogan sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is needed in the immediate vicinity. They're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming.
kidding me? The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. They aren't? You sure? No, oh, that... That can't be right. You... You mean that, don't you? You really haven't found anything on board? Nobody wants that. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure? We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing? Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Jumping from such a height is dangerous for your endoskeleton.
United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis.